there, Brent the Collector here, first time YouTuber, it's my first video ever, uh, I am a collector, this channel is going to be dedicated to showing off my various collections, uh, mostly CDs, but um, some vinyl, uh, classic video games, and sports memorabilia, this video today will be showing off my latest additions to my CD collection. So yeah, I p purchased most of them at uh, a local local uh, music shop. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so the first one is a local Minnesota group called Fac Fact Trashery. Albums called Original Rock. Uh, I've never heard of these guys, but the reason I bought it is that it is recorded by a guy named Bryn Ahrens. He is a local Minnesota legend. He was in a, a group called Flip, and uh, they're still rocking to this day. And uh, yeah, I checked it out. Not really my cup of tea, but you know cool piece of uh, Minnesota history. Second one I got here is Bad Brains, Eye Against Eye. They are hardcore legends. Can't really say much about the CD that hasn't been said before. Uh, really, really good. Like it a lot. And uh, 350 with the BOGO, pretty good deal. Next up is Black Sabbath's Forbidden. Uh, this one, I listened to it. It's just okay. Uh, it's with Tony Martin singing vocals, who is a great singer. I don't know if you've ever listened to, I believe the album is The Forbidden Idol. And uh, the opening track, I think, is The Shining. And it's just amazing. And he is a great singer, but... Uh, not Black Sabbath's best uh, overall effort. And I got it 25% off, so 8 bucks. I think I saw the uh, Discogs median price was something like 17 or something. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Really excited to uh, pick that one up. Next one is a local hip-hop group from Minnesota called The Core. I don't know if they lasted too long, but... Uh, yeah, I listened to it. It is great. It actually has a Black Sabbath sample in it, so I got super excited about it. Um, one of the members is actually a local hip-hop legend named Toki Wright. And coincidentally enough, two weeks after I bought this, I got to see him in concert. And uh, I bought two of his albums. Uh, this one... Featuring production by Big Cats. Um, it's pretty good. He's a great, great underground rapper. Doesn't get enough claim. And I also bought this one. Toki Wright as Mamadou at the Speed of Life 3. Uh, I haven't listened to this one yet. Looking forward to it. But yeah, Toki Wright. Check him out if you haven't heard of him. Next one is Violent Femmes 3. Uh, I really like their first two albums, um, but I haven't listened to this one yet. Looking forward to it. I've heard mixed things about it, but, you know, I'll judge for myself soon enough. All right, I found Please Please Me by The Beatles. Who doesn't love this album? Who doesn't love early Beatles? It's hard not to. Yeah. I think I paid like two bucks at Goodwill for it. Excited to find it. Uh, next up is Buddy Guy, Stone Stone Crazy. Uh, Buddy Guy, amazing blues guitar player. Hard not to pick this up. I did not pay uh, 15 bucks for it. I got it at Goodwill. I think it was two. But yeah, it's just a compilation of a bunch of early stuff and 
60s stuff. Yeah, can't go wrong. Next up is XTC's Oranges and Lemons. Uh, never listened to this one. I really like uh, the one in the 90s with uh, Peter Pumpkinhead and uh, I like the 80s Skylarking. Uh, I'm going to check this one out later today. And yeah, when you find XTC, you always pick it up. It's always good. All right, my favorite soundtrack of all time. Twin Peaks uh, music composed by Angelo Badalamenti or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Just amazing. Uh, just every song is, is awesome. It's hard to, you know, find a fault in this. Best thing about the series, if you ask me, is the music. All right. The Smiths, Strange Ways, Here We Come. Uh, this one's pretty easy to find. I picked it up because I didn't have it. It's not really my favorite Smiths album, but, you know, uh, I should try to complete the collection. So, got that. All right. Next up is Information Society. They are a local Minnesota, I would say, dance, electro-pop band. Uh, from the 80s, um, they had a, a big hit called uh, What's Going On, or uh, What's On Your Mind, Pure Energy. And yeah, it's a great song, and it's actually a really good album. I liked it a lot. Uh, very unheralded group, probably forgotten about, which is a shame. Yeah, Information Society, check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. All right, next up is Aphex Twin. Um, this is his actual uh, ambient music. It's Ambient Music Volume 2. Um, not a huge fan of ambient music. I love his first collection, which really isn't ambient music, but uh, yeah, I picked it up. Two bucks, why not? And then last but not least, we got Yang Wei Malmsteen's Trilogy. Uh, he is a crazy good 80s guitar god. Not really my style of music, really, but uh, when you find a Yang Wei Malmsteen album, I mean, pick it up. Why not? Two bucks. So, yeah. All right, guys. That's it for this week. Um, let me know what you think. It's my first video. I want some uh, critiques, suggestions. If you want me to pull out some genres of music and show you what I got. Um, if you want to see anything else. Uh, if you like it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. I don't know. We'll see where this thing goes. Anyway, hope you had fun. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.